Oh my gosh, I haven't been here since, I don't know, middle school, high school, and I am stoked to be here. I can't tell you how excited I am. I have so many good memories here with my cousins and my brother, so I'm really excited to be here. But here's the lodge. We could have stayed here, and we probably should have stayed here, but Emmy sleeps with a sound machine, so I didn't want to like wake everybody up or keep everybody up because people do stay in the lodge other than us. Anyways, I will show you guys around. This place is awesome. Totally stoked to be here. Can't say it enough. I'm kind of nervous. What? Is all Peter, I'm nervous. So right now we're just kind of chilling and hanging out. There is nobody here except us. Emmy's been exploring and making friends with all of the squirrels, which makes me a little nervous, but you know what? They're just squirrels, so hopefully, hopefully everything's okay. <laughs> She's getting her intake of nature, which is exactly what we're here for, is to bask in the glory of all of this beauty. Look at this. Oh my gosh, so pretty. In a second, we're gonna go on a little walk and just look around the property and see what is still here, what I remember, and also what's new. This is my grandpa, everybody, the greatest man I've ever met. Glad to see you people. This is my granddaughter, <laughs> the greatest granddaughter I ever had. I just want everybody to know that that's documented. My inheritance will go to her, split 20 ways. Oh, wait, what? No! Now, Grandma, I just filmed a video with Grandpa and he said he's gonna give me all of your inheritance. Yes. All of the inheritance. Yeah. Not split 20 ways. Right, That's Grandpa? Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> No, he said it was going to have to be shared, and I disagree. I would just like you to know that I'm the only grandchild here with you at Star Point That's currently. Right. And I'll show you so. it all. <laughs> Did you favorite. hear that? You're my Sorry, everybody else. Am I hot? You're hot. For you city dwellers that don't know the dangers of the outdoors, let me introduce you to stinging nettle. <gasps> This is a plant that if you rub up against it, it will give you an itch and a rash. Recognize this plant and stay away from it. This is not good. Not a nice plant. All right, this is Nature Facts with Grandpa. We're starting with the aspen, small <gasps> aspen leaves. This is my favorite. And right behind it is a lupin. It's late in the season <laughs> and it is not blooming now. But that mm -hmm. is lupin. What is lupin good for? Is it a flower? They are or? good to look at because they get a big, beautiful flower. Oh, but not right now because it's too late. Uh, I, if I say some, say what that okay. one is, it'll be wrong. <laughs> I call it an aster, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> Okay, and grandma's doing this the smart way. Apparently, if you take a picture of it on your phone, we're not connected to the internet, so I don't know if this will work, oh. but you tap that icon, Look up plant. Oh. oh, and then it should show up there. Grandma, that's so smart. Maybe that's why it didn't. There's oh, no internet, yeah, there's no internet. I'm learning so many facts today. So that's a cool way to look up a plant. Yeah. I didn't know that. We the more you know. Just what am I doing? Stand. Okay, I'm standing. Oftentimes when you're in the wild, you have to go. The most convenient <laughs> place is behind a tree. But in an improved campground, you have what's known as a porta potty. <laughs> this looks like a porta potty from the future, though. It's all cylinder like. Actually, it looks kind of terrifying, if I'm being honest. <laughs> it's gonna shuttle you off to the Ministry of Magic if you're not careful. I love my oh grandpa. My He's so funny. So this is awesome. I'm having a blast, honestly. <laughs> you're gonna have to get a close up on this oh, one. Okay. okay, here we go. I'm down this on This plant is named for a state. The state is Oregon. It is an Oregon grape. Oh my gosh. Can you eat it? Let's see. Wait, let's see. Grandpa, no. It's a little bitter. <laughs> You'll be dead by it morning. It needs a little <laughs> sugar. A little sugar would do wonders for it. Oh my gosh. Can I try one? Grandpa, you we can... die together. Oh, it's sour. <laughs> yeah, a little sugar would help. It's not bad. It's just really sour. Sagebrush. You take a piece and you put it in your letter when you're writing your boyfriend when you're dating. And it smells so good. Okay, let me smell. Uh, 
Hey, it actually does smell pretty good. Yeah. Oh. I don't remember doing it for Grandpa. <laughs> okay, so it might not work. <laughs> it might not get you the guy. <laughs> That's what I know. You do. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me give this shot. Okay, if here we go. If you get up close and personal with the forest, you can oftentimes find a mossy rock. Moss normally, mostly, grows on the north side of the slope. So we're on the north side of the slope. North is that way. <gasps> Why does it only grow on the north side? Because it likes the cool, shady spot. So we've got moss right here. And where there's moss, there's normally a pavilion. And you've got spiders in your hair. <laughs> no! 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 Grandma, get him out. Grandma, Grandpa scared me. I'm so scared now. <laughs> You're all right. Thanks, Grandma. Spiders won't hurt you. <gasps> pavilion so this is the pavilion this is where we'll eat breakfast or we used to eat breakfasts and have dinners and everything dinner time <laughs> what is that come energy? and get it whoa that's loud <laughs> Where they are. Um, the darker ones are the beef, and then the the lighter ones are the turkey. We're eating dinner. It's grim. Yeah. Not right now. Got corn. Heck yeah. Oh, fire roasted hot dogs. Fire roasted. <laughs> and we got the girl up here with her new shoes. So we just finished dinner. It was delicious. Nothing better than a hot dog roasted over the fire. And now we're just chilling. We're gonna do some s'mores. We're in our comfy, warm clothes now. And um, we're gonna start winding down. Yeah, say hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Love it, Grandpa. <laughs> Everybody's got sticks from the trees. They're marshmallows. We're making s'mores. Ah, oh, yeah. All right, look out. Bring the fire over this way. <laughs> I really don't care for them that much. But well, it's traditional fun. That's it. That's why we eat them. Yes. It's like fruitcake. Nobody likes fruitcake, but you have to eat like it. it Grandma, don't lie to yourself. <laughs> We went and slept at this really cute little cabin in Fairview last night because we weren't able to bring our rooftop tent. We didn't know if anybody was sleeping in the lodge either. So we just thought, you know, let's Airbnb it. Probably gonna be simpler. And it was, it was really, really nice. We really enjoyed that. It was really cool. So if you're ever in Fairview and you're looking for an Airbnb, this is definitely the one. So right now we're on a little walk. We're kind of just doing that same little loop that we did yesterday. But this time we have a little activity. I made these cute little activity bags for her and any of the other little kids that were coming up. So far there's nobody, so that's okay. <laughs> We have this one for Emmy. Um, it has all of these cute little things that we're gonna look for and put in this bag. She's really into like putting stuff away or putting stuff into things right now. So I figured this would be the perfect activity for our little one-year-old. Let's hunt. Oh, Pita. Hello. <laughs> You're so handsome. Also, everybody, Pete got a haircut. Oh boy. Look, he doesn't have long hair anymore. Pete, when was the last time that you had short hair? Our wedding. <laughs> That's so crazy. I think you look so handsome. You look really handsome with long hair too, but I mean like the short hair is a vibe. I love it. 
looks so good. So this is something that we didn't come and see yesterday, but this is the amphitheater. And I have so many memories here. Like we put together this cute little talent show program. I got all the kids together and all my cousins and we did like a little Surfing USA production. <laughs> it was so cute. I just remember like lifting up all of the little kids and all of their parents were sitting on this stage. And like every time we lifted up a kid, they go, yay. Another kid, yay. <laughs> There was like 10 kids that we did that to, so it's a little Lion King moment for them, but hopefully they had fun, because <laughs> I had fun. And then every year, my cousins and I would come to these benches, and we'd lay on them, and we would just watch the clouds pass by. It was so much fun, because you basically have like a, the best view for any clouds or stargazing. It's really, really cool. It was, it was just so much fun, so much nostalgia out here. And now my baby's here, and my husband. That's so crazy. See, it just opens up and you can see the clouds. Obviously there's no clouds today, but normally you would see all the clouds passing by at night, all the stars, it's just so pretty. Okay, baby, these are the things that we're looking for, okay? Yep, all of those, okay? So if you find any of them, Dad, this is not boring, this is fun. If you find any of these, we put them in the bag. Pine cones are on the list. Your time to shine, baby girl. Put it in, put it in, yay! Good job, Emmy. Green leaf. Good job. Found a stick. That's not. Oh, wait, it is on our list. Put it in the bag, Pete. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, there it goes. Gosh dang it. Where are we going to find another stick? Got fern. I didn't think we'd find fern, honestly. Got our fern, our pine cone, our green leaf, and we threw a stick over there, so. We're back at the lodge. We only made it to fern, grass, pine cone, green leaf. I mean, there's rocks everywhere. Like I said, I want her to pick it up. Oh, she's gonna dump it. Start Mission over. accomplished. Back to square one. This angle oh was. There he is. Oh my gosh, Grandma. Look at Are you scared? No. What? I. Oh my gosh, she's gonna dig. Do you have something in your pocket? He likes this. Just cling to this jack. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh my gosh, Grandma. Are you okay? Yeah, he likes to cling to my jacket. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Emmy's little scavenger hunt bag is under attack because there's a pine cone in there and he wants it. <laughs> Dude, it's just a pine cone, buddy. Oh, there he goes. Why are you so scary to me? You're so cute from afar, but then you come on me and I'm like, scream. Ew, I think a bug just jumped on me. No! <laughs> These guys are so fun. I can't play. They're just playing. Oh, they're so fun. I wish I wasn't so afraid of them. I don't know why I'm so afraid. How, what kind of flight time do you get to that guy? Uh, Right, this is grandpa and grandma's famous dinner. Let's open it. Oh, you already opened yours. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I don't think you guys could have done it more perfect. And Emmy's up here eating. anybody there in the beginning because we got to use all of the amenities it was, oh my gosh whoa look at that sun hello but anyways it was nice to spend that time with my grandparents you know one-on-one -on -one. it was really really fun we played a lot of games we talked a lot we had good treats oh there's the sun again it's really bright we're leaving at like seven o'clock it is super bright outside we had a blast please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Pete's concentrating on the road because this road is really windy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> gosh, no. don't kill us. No. Anyways, all right. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.